Jennifer. I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And today I've got a super fun lesson all about pollinators. So we're gonna start off, I've got a question for you. Have you guys ever eaten a plant? Hmm, a plant. So if you've ever eaten a nut, like an almond or a cashew, if you've ever had a fruit, like a banana, if you've ever had vegetables, like potatoes, broccoli, things like that, um, if you've ever had um, seeds, like sunflower seeds, if you've ever had that, those all come from plants. And you know what else comes from plants? Chocolate, chocolate. So you guys have all eaten a plant and do you guys know that um, you've all eaten a product of pollination? If you've eaten a plant, you've eaten a product of pollination. And we can thank a pollinator for one in every three bites of food that we eat. So for breakfast today, I had a smoothie. I had an, it had almond milk in it, which um, came from pollination. So I can say thank you, pollinator, for that. It had a banana in it. Thank you, pollinator. It also had blueberries, which I can thank a pollinator for. It had, um, 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 what else? Oh, it had um, protein powder, which was chocolatey. So I can even thank a pollinator for the chocolate for the chocolate in my protein mix. And of course, I had coffee with my smoothie, because I like coffee, and I put cream in it, but I can't thank a pollinator for the cream. So that's a lot of my breakfast I really need to thank pollinators for. So how does this all work? Pollination is the transfer of pollen from one flower to another. It's in, that's what it is. So pollen comes from the anthers of a flower. And pollen is that kind of yellowy stuff that makes me sneeze. And so our bee went from went from um, um, from flower to flower. And the reason pollinators are attracted to flowers is because they have yummy, delicious nectar, which is like sweet, sweet kind of sugary stuff that they like to eat. And they're going for that. And then they accidentally get the pollen from the anthers on their little furry bodies. And then they'll fly off and they'll go to another flower and they'll go to another flower and they'll come back and they'll go to another flower and another, maybe a couple more and come back. And what happens is they get this pollen on their furry little bodies. And when they go to the next flower, that pollen touches the sticky stigma. This part of the plant is called the sticky stigma. And what happens when pollen lands on this, it travels down this tube and it goes in this part of the flower called the ovary and it fertilizes the ovules, these little round things. And once those are fertilized, they become seeds. And that's what plants and flowers do. They produce seeds. And what, and, and what, 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 what do we do with seeds? We plant them in our gardens, right? And what do they grow into? They grow into new baby plants. So the, so the flower is attracting the pollinators by giving them yummy nectar. And, and those pollinators are helping to fertilize this, the seeds so this flower, this plant can make new baby plants. So welcome to my yard. Pollinators are just like me. They like flowers. I love flowers. I love flowers because they're beautiful. They're super pretty. 
and they smell good and pollen and pollinators like flowers because they um they smell good they're fragrant that attracts them and they also taste really good flowers make yummy delicious nectar that attracts pollinators so here's my friendly little pollinator little buzz buzz bee and what pollinators do is they go from flower to flower bzz, bzz. Bzz, 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 bzz. They might stop by another one too. Bzz, bzz. Bzz, 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 and they get yummy, delicious nectar. And bees they even like pollen. Pollen. They even like it. And then I don't know if you can see, they have little pollen that they get on their bodies. They don't try, mean to get the pollen on their bodies, but they do. And they transfer that to the to other flowers. They're transferring pollen. Ending. So here I am out in an orchard and I've got my little bee, the pollinator, going from flower to flower, getting the yummy nectar all over it. Do you think it's also getting pollen on it? And then he flies across to the to another tree more pollen on it accidentally and gets lots and lots of yummy nectar and then it goes back of course and hey could some of the pollen from those flowers have gone into the sticky stigmas of these flowers it really could have happened and once that pollen travels down that sticky stigma just like we've talked about in the flower model then that those, those, um, it's fertilized and they start to lose all their petals and develop seeds. And lots of times plants have a yummy fruit that surrounds the seed. So here's an apple. And if I were to cut my apple in half, you can see seeds inside it. And those seeds are what will grow into a baby apple tree.